Hello and welcome back to my hair growing ever longer because I'm in self-isolation and they cannot go get a haircut. Um, yeah, we're nearly seriously. But I re really need to get my hair because I'll probably like... Uh, my mum's an essential worker so I'll probably ask her if she can just like cut my hair so it's not blocking my eyes. Yeah. Or something like that. Um, but... Uh, yeah, anyway. Um... This came today, and um, yeah. Oh, forgot about the uh, game and watch the um, Mario thirty fifth anniversary game and watch is, and uh, oh, they were a lot smaller than I thought they would be. Um, I got two of them, one to keep sealed and one to actually open and use. Um, they're backwards. Two of them off backwards. So yeah, I'll put one to the side. I'll put that in over there somewhere. A um, mapped in a plastic bag. Um, so yeah, uh, this, this is actually quite cool. So what is this? What 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 part of this is actually the box? So yeah, by the looks of it, um, a powerful that Nintendo logo, the Game and Watch color color screen. And the, the Game & Watch um, itself on there, everything else appears to be uh, printed on the actual plastic. Um, so yeah, let's get into here. Uh, just going to do these. Um, just very carefully. Actually, I just... Peel it off a bit like that. There we are. I didn't mean to take it all the way off, but well. All the end of the world. Uh, now, if it's just come out. Oh, these are actually stuck to the box itself, so you need to take both of them off. And they do not like them enough. At least you didn't know it's in there securely. Yeah, there we go. Flipped right out. And that is a cool little case. I really do like that. Oh yeah, and on the back you see owls there. Yeah, so ooh, looking at this. So you uh you have that little game and watch game there, where they showed off on the trailer. And uh, on the back, Game & Watch Super Mario Bros. Uh, to use the system you will need a Nintendo USB AC adapter. Um, they got Super Mario Bros, Super Mario Bros 2, uh, The Lost Levels, Ball, and Time. Well I would be surprised if it didn't have time on it, seeing as it's called Game & Watch. How could you have a game and watch about games and a game and watch? Oh, hold up. Special thanks to you. Oh, that's a nice little Easter egg. Right there. Um, you can't read it very well because I don't have the best webcam, but uh, it's, to, it's Mario and Luigi in the uh, ball minigame style. Um, and it just says special thanks to you. That is really nice. They put that. Uh, that, that's a nice little easter egg. Like, it doesn't take a lot of effort for them to do that, but it is nice. What are you looking at me for? Come on, come on, pops. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh. Got a little manual by the looks of it. Come on. Out you come. Don't you come, little fella? Here it is. The game and watch itself. It's 
not for you. None of this is for you. You have A, B, D pad, you have game, time, pause, and set. That is nice. Uh, ah, there's the uh, USB type C. Right. So, I'm actually surprised at that. I'm surprised it's USB type C and not micro USB. Like, obviously, USB type C is much better than micro USB. Uh, but because it's such a small system, I would have thought they would have gone with micro USB because I thought that I would have imagined that micro USB would have just been straight up easier to put into this thing than USB type C. Yeah, USB type C. I don't know what that is, a little slip there. I don't know what that's for though. Um, Power button on the side there, right next to the charger. Oh, yeah. If I get in there, if the camera wants to focus on it. No, uh, the camera doesn't really like it, does it? You see a bit better. There we go. There we go, it's starting to focus in. Yeah, that's cool. Um. There's no volume, so I don't know if it's, if it's going to have volume, so press time button. Uh, it's 14. 30. Oh yes, there is volume uh, and lighting, so set time. So 14, 13, so that's uh, t 14, that's 2, 13 p.m. Thirteen PM. There you go. Oh, that's cute. Um. So apparently, it's like thirty-five little. Um, you see it on this. Which I'm probably not going to discover any because I'm not um, that good. Like, oh, all right, man. I think I managed. I don't know. Um, it's now fourteen. So, wait. I'm just gonna. So, I don't know if you can see it on the, in the camera, but there's a little square. Yeah, you can barely see it, but there's a little square going around the edge of the screen. It's currently going down at the side of the 4 and 14. Yeah, you can just see it. I'm guessing that's the seconds counter. Um, and that's what's making it go tick, tick, tick. tick. Um, so let's check out the games. There's Super Mario Bros, Super Mario Bros 2, and Ball. Uh, Ball Game A. So... Yeah, I'm gonna have to try and get this to focus. Oh. While playing the game. Uh, let me just put that there. Game A. Not the best game footage ever, I know, but there's not really any way to catch any other way to capture this. Just press left and right on the D pad. Catch the balls. By the looks of it, it's starting to go faster. Doing pretty well, seeing as how I'm playing with essentially reversed controls and I have to look at my computer screen or TV um, to play this.
Oh, my arms are getting tired. Ah, damn it. Okay, what about game B? Oh, well. Oh, and you can also switch them. Okay, let's uh, just crash uh, that. Uh, game B. You have three balls! So this is essentially hard mode. Um, also, you can move the arms with A and B. As well as a D pad. Right. Um, so, yeah, that's ball. And obviously, Super Mario Bros. Only it's two player as well. So, yeah, just it's just the original Super Mario Bros. Nothing special here. That's Mario Bros. 1, look at that, and now here's Mario Bros. 2, <laughs> the lost, also known as the lost levels. Now apparently this is super hard, Um, I know there's a Mushroom in one of these blocks, and then you have to bounce up there. And I can't really see. Camera's refusing to focus in. Here we go. Now, oh, I can't see anything. Camera refuses to focus us in. You give me. Oh, and that's a little good start. So yeah, if you like um, classic games, uh, that's that. But if you and if you just want a watch, the pocket watch thing that you can play games on, that's good. Um, and I also believe that it came with some battery in it as well. Uh, yes, if you go to there, you can see it comes with a little bit of battery in it, which is nice. So, yeah, this is definitely more of a collector's item. If you really don't care about um, all, you know, classic uh, NES, SNES games and Mario, then you care about this as much as you care about the Nintendo Online. And uh, while I haven't played a lot of Nintendo Online, I have beaten the original Mario Bros. I played a bit of a... Uh, the Western Mario Bros. 2, which is Doki Doki Panic in Japan. I think it was Doki Doki Panic, or whatever it was called, uh, in Japan. And um, I didn't beat that because I got stuck and then I got bored. So I couldn't figure out where I need to go. So, yeah, if you're kind of, if you are into retro 8 bit games, definitely uh, pick this up. And um, if you're just interested in the Easter eggs, I'm sure somebody will release a video with all 35 easter eggs in this thing and how to uh, see them. Um, but I don't think I'm going to unlock any of the easter eggs. Um, 
Well, and um, something I just saw, but I can't really show off until like another minute passes, is that um, when time passes, so like say now I'm on the two twenty one. When it go goes to two twenty two, Mario will jump up and destroy the one to make it a two. I mean, a two will pop up, which is nice. Um, nice way of doing that. Um. But yeah, um, I'm gonna definitely wait with anticipation for um, the 35 Easter egg videos to come out because I am really curious about how they put Easter eggs into this one because it only has four, five, six buttons and a D pad. And this little thing here is that, oh, yeah, that's that's volume, uh, the speaker, sorry. So it, only, so it doesn't really have much. Um, no, you can't see it, but you, you want to go outside? Yeah, I'm going to go outside. But yeah, I better get off. You, you don't want to go outside. Um, but yeah, um, I am really happy with getting this, because um, now I can just have it in my pocket. Uh, so if I just like put it on sleep mode, I can just like put it in my pocket, do my thing and it's like, okay, what time is it? It's that time. Um, it's nice and it's not too big. Um, it's smaller than my mobile phone. And it's about the same thickness. So, yeah. And then if you're like on the bus, you can just like pull it out. Go to game, try and beat like Super Mario Bros. 2 if you want to challenge or uh, try the original Mario Bros. Um, I have not beaten, I did beat the original Mario Bros. on the, uh, the um, what do you call it? Um, Nintendo Online. But I did use save states only because I didn't want to spend, because I hate um, game overs and I didn't want to spend the, the hours just like getting up to, um, you know, a high level and then getting a game over on that level um, and then having to replay the entire game to get back up to there because it's just, a, that's just a waste of time in my opinion. Um, especially with like the Bowser level, I think I died like five times on that because I didn't know what the pattern was for the maze because if you didn't know, in the final Bowser level, um, the, you have to run along this corridor basically and um, you have to do it in a certain order and I didn't know the order um, off the top of my head so I had to like uh, trial and error it and it caused me uh, a few deaths trial uh, doing trial and error and obviously just like dying to uh, enemies and fireballs and flame bars that were in the level so yeah um Yeah, um, I am at, I am happy with this. This is really cool. Um, excited to see what the Easter eggs are and how you activate them because, uh, you know, the Nintendo are really creative. So it wouldn't surprise me if they hid this uh, really creative Easter eggs in really creative ways. I wonder how long it'll take the internet to break. Uh, you know, to find all the easter eggs, and then to break this thing wide open and run homebrew on it, because homebrewers will attempt to run homebrew on just about anything, really. Like, there's homebrew on DS, which is just like, okay, there's homebrew on 3DS, which is like, yeah, sure, that's expected, that was around when the 3DS was alive, there's homebrew on the Wii U, which, according to some, is actually the best console to run homebrew on, um, I don't know about the Xbox One or P PlayStation 4, um, but yeah, I expect somebody to run some sort of homebrew on this. Like, there's homebrew for um, NES and SNES Classic, so, as well, so, I don't know, there'll probably be homebrew for this, and I don't know why this isn't going in properly. Let me put that in there, let's go in there.
Oh, okay. Um, and oh, I didn't catch that quickly enough. But if you leave this for long enough, it will um, come up with a little image of Mario going to sleep and then, uh, you know, go to sleep itself. So if I can, I'll try and capture that in a minute. Uh, I'm just going to try and figure out how to get this back into this box. There we go. Uh, I'm just going to um, get that. Can I have this in the background? Um. Yeah, you can see that. I'll just have it up there for a while because why not? Okay, so how am I going to uh, do this? So could do something similar to what I did with the 3DS when I tried and I was doing thing is ah. There. Yeah, let me get a bit of blue tack. Here we go. A big ball of blue tack here. Bit old, but should do for what I'm trying to accomplish here. Just like that there. I put it on upside down. Mm, bit more blue tack. Ah. There we go. So uh, hopefully in a minute you should see it going to sleep or something. Should hopefully see something. Yeah, there you go. You can see it going to sleep there. Right. Yeah. So I'm gonna end the video off here. I'll see you guys in the next wherever I do decide to do next. I hope you have a good day. Stay safe, self-isolate, wear masks, and uh, all that good stuff. Bye-bye.